Hi friends, in this Spring Cloud tutorial, we'll see service registration using Netflix Eureka. For this, I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. Go to Spring, Spring Cloud section. In uh, the previous tutorial, we had seen an overview of what is Netflix Eureka and why we should be using this. In the second part, we had created two modules empl employee producer and employee consumer in this we uh, the employee producer was exposing json data which was being consumed by the employee consumer using the rest template so we had uh, done the implementation part till here you can go through this tutorial in this tutorial we will be registering the employee producer module to the eureka server so this was the overview part this was the second part Today we'll be implementing Eureka for service registration. So we'll be uh, registering the employee producer to the Eureka service registry. Once this is done, we can see uh, we can see that our employer uh, producer module will be registered to the Eureka server. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be first creating the Eureka server uh, module. Uh, this will again be a maven project with uh, the required dependencies and the second part will be will be uh, changing the code in our employer employee producer module to register itself with the eureka service registry we'll uh, next have a look at uh, these code changes so let's begin with the implementation part go to eclipse so previously we had created two modules the employee consumer module and the employee producer module you can download both these modules from this tutorial here employee producer module and the employee consumer module we'll now create a new maven module and name it as eureka server Next, we'll add the dependencies for this Eureka server. So, the dependency that we are going to add is the Spring Cloud Starter Eureka server. Also, we'll have to add the dependency management here because uh, the Netflix team it uh, keeps on releasing newer versions of the Spring Cloud components. So, we uh, need to have this dependency management also. So, let's copy this. Next, we'll be creating the Eureka server application class, which will be having the Spring Boot application as well as the enable Eureka server annotation. Finally, we will be creating the application.properties file to specify the port as These are the only changes required. Let's start this application. So our application it has started successfully. Just ignore the errors that you are getting. It is showing that currently no instances are registered to it. Go to the browser and go to the URL so here we can see that our Eureka server it has successfully started currently no instances are registered to it next we will be modifying the employee uh, producer code to 
so that we can see that it will be registered here so for this we'll have to add the spring cloud starter eureka dependency as well as the dependency management tags for the employee module Next, we will be adding the enable discovery client tag to the Spring Boot application that is already created. So, yeah. In the application.properties, we have to specify the URL on which the Eureka server is running. So currently the uh, port that it is running is 8090 so copy this prop in the source main resources create the application.properties file and paste the eureka url so these are the only changes required for the producer module start this application it will run on port 8080 while the eureka server is already running on the port 8091 sorry on the port 8090 now if we go and refresh this page can see that an application the name currently it is not written it has been registered to the uh, Eureka server next we'll name this application as employee producer so for this the change that we'll have to do is we'll have to create a file named as bootstrap.properties And in this file, we'll have to give the name that we want. So I have stopped the employee producer module that was running and I'll start it again. So it has started successfully. Now if we'll go here and if we refresh this page we can see that the employee producer is the one that it is showing correctly this unknown it uh, we have stopped this it takes some time to refresh this page so after some time this unknown it will go away so we have successfully registered the employee producer code to the Eureka server this is what we have done in the next tutorial we'll be using uh, service discovery by changing the code for employee consumer so the employee consumer will not directly call the employee producer but it will do so by calling the Eureka service registry. I hope you have understood this tutorial. Uh, the source code for this it can be downloaded from here. Thank you.